In today's video, we need to see how we can fill the battery with the distilled water. So this battery is used for the inverter actually. Okay, first of all switch off the inverter, pull out the plug from the socket. This is mainly for safety. So now you can clean the inverter top and the battery top. So we need to clean the battery top and the inverter top regularly so that it's not messy. So we can see six white knobs actually. So distilled water need to be poured through these knobs. So once it is cleaned, we need to slowly unscrew the knobs actually here you can see the red level and the green level so that knob red knob should be in between the red level on the, at the bottom and the green level at the top this should not go below the red level if it goes below the red level then battery becomes dry and it will not work so we need to ensure regularly that this is in between red and green no green levels so this is a distilled water we can get it from the petrol bunk or the battery shop so now let us unscrew the knob slowly so before that wear a proper gloves so for safety this uh, battery will have acid inside it so it should not spill out so slowly unscrew the knobs and keep it in a safe place So levels we need to check every uh, six months and pour the distilled water accordingly. So we are unscrewing the other knobs. So do it slowly. So all the knobs are unscrewed. So keep the knobs uh, safely, so do not touch that because that has the acid, so be careful. So this battery need uh, some uh, distilled water inside that, you can see like uh, 2 inches of uh, water will be required. So when you pour, uh, just leave a little bit uh, space on the top, don't fill completely, okay. We need to pour the distilled water uh, from the bottle slowly. Sh should ensure that uh, the acid is not spilled out. Okay, slowly pour in all the six holes evenly. Okay. So we are pouring in the second hole. If you need uh, uh, a funnel, you can use a funnel. It will be easy if you use a funnel to pour distilled water. So three holes, uh, it's already filled and other three holes. So when you are pouring, ensure that little bit space is there on the top. So do not uh, completely fill because some gases would be coming out of that so should have some space. So all the four holes it is filled and see that if some extra distilled water is required in any of the holes, we check it and fill it accordingly.
Okay, you can use a small cup like this uh, so that it will be easy. You can pour into the cup and then slowly put it into the hole. Okay, so this cup will also be helpful. Okay, it's completely filled now. So, you can screw in all the knobs actually. You can see that a little bit, one inch of uh, space is there. So, you can close all the knobs. So, while closing also, ensure that it's closed properly and uh, without uh, touching the acid. This uh, knobs have small holes uh, on the top. This is mainly to exhaust the the gases which will build up in the battery so because those holes are there you need you should not uh, move the battery if, even if you move you need to move slowly if not the acid will spill out okay so three knobs are closed So all the all the knobs are being closed so you can see the level now see that the red knob has come to the green marking actually okay so red marking is bottom and green marking is top if it is near the green marking it is good level is good okay now it is complete actually so if there is any distilled water on the top uh, you can clean that with a cloth so careful gloves is very important you need to wear gloves whenever you are working with the battery now you can switch on the inverter okay now it is good to go thank you for watching the video please subscribe and like